I was recently doing some research on biologic CDMOs for one of my clients and found, uh, according to uh, Technavio, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, uh, the worldwide bio biologic CDMO market is expected to grow by $8.65 billion between 2021 and 2026. That's a little over 12% growth. And out of that, about 41% of that growth is here in North America. The cell and gene therapy is projected to grow even faster, uh, at faster rate of more than 30%. And over the last few years, biologic CDMO capacity has not been able to expand at the same rate to provide ready capacity. That started changing over the last year or two. Uh, now there's a lot of investment and expansion going on. A, a few examples, and this is not a comprehensive list at all. Look at uh, Thermo Fisher's new plant in Lebanon, Tennessee, and their expansion in Plainville, Mass. Uh, Fuji Film, uh, their $2 billion facility in uh, Holly Springs, North Carolina, and expansions in the UK, Denmark, and in Texas. Uh, Samsung, uh, $1.7 billion new plant in Incheon, Korea, the so-called super plant, uh, some people have referred to it as. And Lanza has expansions in uh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and in Switzerland as well. Catalent in Italy, uh, Boringer Ingelheim in Austria, Wuxi in Wuxi, China. The list goes on. I don't want to, this is not a comprehensive list, but you hear there's an awful lot of expansion going on. These capacity expansions are on track to out, outpace the demand in the next uh, two to three years, maybe sooner, uh, based on the current technology. But on top of that, let's add some of the manufacturing reduction times, uh, things like process intensification technologies that are starting to come online. Even uh, continuous processing that even includes lights out production for some processes and the faster at line analytical techniques. When you put all of these together, these new efficiencies and the new capacities will be probably coming out of this uh, phase right now where it seems like there's not enough capacity and we'll be moving into a phase where we may actually have uh, a little more capacity than, than is actually needed. I think there's a lot of good opportunities there. It's also interesting that there's a lot of US government funding going on right now, but many of these opportunities re require or at least strongly desire uh, that manufacturing is done in the US. And I think that'll help drive some of that, may mitigate actually some of the capacity, extra capacity here in the US uh, as we go forward. So the pendulum's swinging and we're probably on the, the bottom of that swing right now, and it's swinging in the other direction toward capacity already, I, I believe. So 